Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, Shinrin, Yoku, and Yurt Life, bringing you a grand solar minimum. Update Thursday, November 16th, 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. The Iceland Volcano Watch continues as a map has been published to depict where the lava flow may affect. And the good news is seismicity has dropped off and that eruption may begin anytime soon. Look at how the quakes are lining up on the dike. Keep calm. It's boom time. Cleanup efforts underway in Miami Beach after severe weather and almost a foot of rain. It's insane. U.S. has near record low snow cover for mid-November. The 3.1% continental U.S. snow cover is the second lowest observed for mid-November. But this is all about to change. So stay tuned. 12 inches set to hit some Colorado peaks, but bigger snow may be on the way. Hey, hey, and snow for Thanksgiving. Possible heavy snow for many people across the U.S. And we're keeping a close eye on the tropics as development of Invest 98L is happening. Now, the good news is the projected paths of this tropical disturbance is away from the continental U.S. It may affect Cuba and the Dominican Republic, but that is to be seen. Stay tuned for updates. Here's the full forecast, folks. Heavy rainfall threat across Florida, strong winds for the plains, and winter storm is continuing in Alaska. It's been all month now, mostly for Alaska. A non-tropical low off the Florida coast will continue to bring occasional heavy rain, gusty winds, and dangerous marine conditions across the state today, but that, for the most part, has moved offshore. A strong cold front across the center of the nation will bring gusty winds and local fire danger that could result in rapid spread of any fires. For California, a wet pattern continues the rest of the week. Winter storms continue for Alaska as well. Click on your county for more updates. And there don't seem to be many warnings in the U.S. today anyway. Now, 2% sea rise eight years sooner, says the mainstream. Arctic's role in rapid global warming. More gobbledygook, more fear porn, and certainly zero science. Seismic update. Most recent quake just kicked off 5.7 in Myanmar. Or is that, where is that? Let us take a look. Yeah, in Myanmar. And we do have an interesting quake in the U.S. here up in the Pacific Northwest. Let's take a look at that one. It's going to be a 3.1, two kilometers southeast of Stanwood in Washington. Now, this is not associated with any of the uptick in the volcanoes, including Mount St. Helens. But seismicity, indeed, on the Cascadia Range. So we're going to keep a close eye on that if there is any developments. We do have some activity on the Mid-Ocean Ridge north of Iceland, 4.9 near Svalbard. And that brings us to an article we shared yesterday from Newsweek, which claimed 19 volcanoes are erupting at the same time. And we corrected them, saying it's more like 25, and we don't really have to worry until 50 volcanoes erupt at the same time. Well, don't you know the same author today published this headline? Nearly 50 volcanoes are erupting at the same time. This is 48 hours after this. 19 volcanoes erupt at the same time. 50 volcanoes at the same time. How many erupting at the same time? Well, it's all up to you and based on who you watch. So apparently they watched the show last night and they updated their model, which is now correct. 46 volcanoes are in continuous eruptive state worldwide for the last year and 19 of them exhibited a change in activity or alert last week, which means that 19 volcanoes were erupting last week, not 50. And so the mystery continues. <laughs> but there's no mystery on the Reykjanes Peninsula. An eruption is imminent. And a new lava flow map in case of an eruption was published, and it's showing you different zones of destruction and where the flow may go. If the eruption happens within here, hopefully it moves towards one direction and the other. But this is all speculation and means nothing. The reality is that the... Uh, 
majority of the seismicity is lining up right over Grindavik right here. And it looks like that this town is doomed. In fact, the town is already doomed. The seismic disturbance and the uplift and down dropping in the region have destroyed infrastructure. They're barely keeping the lights on. And most of the homes have been destroyed fundamentally, meaning the foundations have been cracked. So the entire town needs to be rebuilt, even though the lights are still on. And they do have the lights in the other half of the town that were off last night back on. But the bad news is seismicity has dropped off to zero. And in the last three eruptions, right before the fissure erupted, this is the same thing that happened. So it may be that tonight is the night for the eruption or maybe in the morning. Either way, our hearts, our thoughts and prayers go out to all those in Grindavik that have already lost their houses and their lives and are now displaced, waiting for an imminent eruption that we will all Google and oogle at when it does occur. Prayers go out to those in Iceland. Space Weather News Update. Not much to report on. We did have one sea flare, but this is from an incoming region that's not even showing its face on the disk. Here is that activity from that sea flare earlier today. This is from a new region coming in, turning in off the limb. So this is not geo-effective and the three-day geomagnetic forecast is showing all quiet except for the 19th where we may get some coronal hole activity. These two coronal holes will be passing towards us and we will be coupling with that plasma stream. So stay tuned for updates on a potential low-level geomagnetic storm from coronal holes during solar max. How embarrassing is that? Jupiter's moon Io is covered in active volcanoes, according to the experts, and now we have the first map of them. But the problem is Jupiter's moon Io is very hot and these ice volcanoes are less than, well, substantially described. But for the first time, we have a global view of Io's ongoing volcanic activity. Sim uh, similar to the first time we took a picture of a black hole. And that's all I'm going to say on that. All the links will be below. As a cosmic flash... Earth struck by historic gamma ray burst from an exploding star, and they're calling this the GOAT, dubbed the brightest of all time, or the boat of gamma ray bursts, detected in 2022, continues to astound astronomers, revealing severe effects in Earth's atmosphere. The good news is that this is far away. Had it been any closer, we would all be dead, and this video would not be up. A powerful blast of gamma rays that may have been the most powerful cosmic explosion since the Big Bang caused significant disturbance around Earth when it struck our planet, new research finds. The fact that they say is that this is the most powerful cosmic explosion since the Big Bang says a lot about the state of science. That's the most ridiculous statement ever written in a mainstream article. Now, Although it was incredibly bright, it certainly wasn't the second largest explosion since the Big Bang. But it certainly was a gamma ray burst, dubbed the brightest of all time, or the boat, an officially designated gamma ray burst 221009A was detected October 2022 by an array of high energy detecting satellites around the world. The boat is believed to have occurred when a massive star located more than two billion light years away exploded. Now, had this star been 100 light years away, we might all have died. But at 2 billion light years away, it's quite insignificant. In fact, it created a supernova before collapsing into a black hole, according to authorities, which is more gobbledygook. But I do digress. Thank God this gamma ray burst was 2 billion light years away because it, well, it means very little for us now, doesn't it? Here is an interesting find. The wealthiest grave of the 5th millennium BC, the Varna Man, discovered by Bulgarian archaeologists in 1970. Have you heard of him? His skull is literally patinaed in gold. And there were gold bangles and gold adornments and gold nuggets and all kind of gold, even a gold penis cover. How do you like them apples? Check it out, the wealthiest Varnaman grave ever. This is a burial site from the Copper Age 
about 4,500 BC. That would be 6,500 years ago, right around the time of the Great Flood of Noah. Now, discovered in 1972 along the Black Sea coast in Varna, Bulgaria, this accidental discovery happened during routine installation work for cables and drainage in the area, and later, around 300 graves were found in the area. <laughs> Amazing find, and actual science, by the way. Now, how to watch the dazzling Leonid meteor shower this weekend? Well, the celestial spectacle has been ongoing since the beginning of the month, but it will peak Friday night into early Saturday morning and get out and look up. And if you follow us, Oppenheimer Ranch Project, at Diamond the Dave on Twitter or X, you would have learned about this hours ago. This weekend, we'll kick off with the peak of the Leonid meteor shower on the night of November 17th and 18th. The meteors appear to originate from the constellation Leo, the lion looking east, but you don't have to look in that direction. The Leonids are known to occasionally produce meteor storms of thousands of meteors per hour. During these events, it is said that Leo the lion is roaring. The lion will not roar though this year with peak rates of 15 meteors per hour. Make sure you find a dark area away from city lights and prepare to bundle up for a cold night. Once you're at a dark area, make sure to let your eyes adjust to the dark for at least 30 minutes and then sit back under the stars and enjoy. Lastly, be sure to check out the latest cloud forecast by visiting AccuWeather.com or by downloading the AccuWeather app. So there you have it. Get out and look up and subscribe to Oppenheimer Ranch Project on X at Diamond the Dave. And we would appreciate your support there. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned and they don't want you to know anything we say on this channel. Become a Patreon, support the work we do and watch all of our podcasts in one place commercial free. We are currently editing the official Chaco Canyon video and it's in 4K and it is amazing. We'll put that up this weekend and tomorrow night I will be interviewing Ashton Forbes about the mysterious disappearance of MH370. So stay tuned for that interview this weekend as well. Be safe. We love you. Yeah.